Welcome back to another episode of Hacks Unplugged. I'm here at Class Axe with Deep Freak. Today we're going to throw some axes. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hacks Unplugged. Today we are at Class Axe for a little uh, family friendly competition. Today I'm joined by Z Freak, Dota player and cousin of mine. Uh, we're going to be throwing some axes at some targets and seeing who can do better. He and I have gone back, obviously, for a long time. We are cousins. We used to play capture the flag, tennis, manhunt, whatever it might be. You know, always some friendly competition. Hopefully we can head over these targets and uh, hit some bullseyes. What's up, Zach? Here to throw some axes. Today we have our uh, local expert and instructor, Raymond, here to show us the ropes and tell us what games we're gonna be playing today. So uh, why don't you give us a quick rundown of what the game plan is? Well, today I'm actually gonna be teaching you the proper throwing techniques on how to do it. We're gonna get some practice throws in. Once we're done with that and feeling confident in throwing our axes, we're actually gonna get started on playing some games against each other. Sound good to you? Sounds fantastic. Sounds you ready fun. for some competition, Zach? I'm ready. I'm only going to teach out two-handed to start with. I'm not going to expect any, either of you to have ever pick up an axe, let alone throw an axe, right? right? Here we have a type of etiquette. What we do is here, we're going to slap each other's axe. To the sides or on the back of the axe. Just like that. Very good. You're going to bring the axe over your head. Use your full body forward the moment your arms are straight out and let go of the axe. You want to use power. Throw them right. That is stuck in Zach's got two bullseyes, man. I'm losing already. I got this. You know, I just gotta, you know, not mess up. We got that TT right now. That's twin turbo. This is this is the danger zone. Spot me. That is just terrible. Now we gotta go again, Ooh. Zach. There we go. Look, Zach, all I know for sure is that back in the day when we used to run those Schmidt versus Friedman's capture the flags. You know, Dude, we you had, didn't play capture the flags. You know we had the upper lot. hand. We played, we played it at my dad's house all the time. Yeah, you did. We used to have this basketball hoop. You had one and we had one. And the thing is, is both of us filled them with water instead of sand. So if somebody like messed with the hoop, it would gain like momentum and tip one way or the other. It was literally just whoever the, once, once people hit like 15, they were in the running. But up until then, it was just older siblings whooping all the younger siblings and laughing at them. Yeah. I gotta focus up. I gotta play my inner Rocky music. Three. This feels good, man. I got, I got like the, the power now. I'm a 50-50 axe thrower. Like it. Zach, soon enough when I die, hopefully not anytime soon, I want you to shoot the flaming arrow that burns my castle. Then we should have gone, you know, right. to do archery. Three, two, one. This is pretty awesome, actually. I think, I think Zach and I are kind of getting to this. Uh, equal playing field here now. He, he had the upper hand, he's really quick to learn stuff, but you know, now that I got enough practice, I think we'll be all right. I think I'll, I'll do well this time, but uh, I have no clue what the next game is. So for all I know, he could uh, Just don't tell him I said that. In this game, the winner is going to receive our prestigious stamp. It is the Lumberlord stamp. It is the sign. This actually goes anywhere in your body you desire, and if you don't want it, that's fine, that's okay. It'll go anywhere in your body your opponent desires. So this next game is called First to 30. It's pretty self-explanatory. First team to 30 points wins. Seeing how y'all are throwing, uh, we might be here forever. Now we got this. Yeah, three blue. Zach, final round, accuracy, precision, first to 30 points. Winner gets the Lumber Lord stamp, officially declared Lord of Lumber. You gonna beat me or what? Yeah, I am, I'm sorry. Do you see that board? I do. See that board? I do. Who's winning? I mean, I got a whole lot more marks around that bullseye that are visible. Could be because I'm a little more aggressive, but you know, ultimately, it's looking good on my end. So, right. I think we got this down. Whatever you say, boss. Let's go. Three, four, 
15. You got an aggressive lead right now. Yeah, sometimes it happens though. You make me go for some blue wall. Six. That's 11. Yeah! Right on the belly. You're gonna wanna wait for this to dry before you get it on your shirt. Right. Lumberlord! <laughs> Lumberlord. I made it. I feel like this isn't family friendly anymore. It feels pretty um like I'm gonna stain my shirt in a second if I let go. So I'm just gonna have to walk around like wearing a little uh, cheerleader outfit for a little bit. Nonetheless. I felt pretty good on that last game. That was actually awesome. I was able to aim my shots. I even called it, like Zach. So now, I don't know. I feel feeling pretty good. I feel like I could throw axes all day.